Hey guys, it's Nesta. Welcome to Casa del Arte, an ultra-modern mega mansion in one of Dubai's most exclusive gated communities, the Emirates Hills. Stick with us while we take you through the pinnacle of luxury combined with stunning contemporary art. Before we begin, a massive thank you to Stefan, the listing agent, for giving us the chance to tour this home. And if you're interested in purchasing it, we'll leave his details in the description down below. Now, without further ado, let's begin the tour. come in through the automated gate you immediately feel the scale of the home now it's kind of overwhelming but in a good way it's just so big now if you look at the exterior it has that smooth white stucco finish and has a ultra modern design even futuristic kind of design you can see those sharp angles on the roof and how those terraces are cantilevered by actually built into the home now if we look at the side of the property you can see parts of it are protrudings parts of it are indented now this is part of the design it has those dimensions and you'll see that design throughout the rest of the home got a side walkway which leads down to the backyard and right next to it is some seating where you've got space to park your cars as well i love the look of that rolls royce and maybach now, on the other side of the property is the driveway, which leads down to the subterranean garage and the basement, where we have some goodies down there to show you a bit later on in the tour. You'll see as well throughout the courtyard here how we have that industrial minimalistic type of stone throughout, and you'll see that in the property as well. As we come up the steps, you've got a water feature to one side, and the front door is actually seamlessly hidden into this panel, which stretches from the floor all the way up to the rooftop and is surrounded by windows uh, as you come into the home you can see how they allow so much of that natural light to seep in now as we came in through that automated gate we had that feeling of grandeur in the exterior we get that same feeling as soon as we enter into the lobby with those uh, double height ceilings in the viewing balcony above in that semicircle shape now we talked about how this home has that futuristic design with those sharp angles well the center of the home is based around a circle with this winding staircase stretching from the basement all the way up to the top floor but i'll talk about those once we go downstairs now in the center of the lobby we got the table with the sort of industrial style metal seating off to the side and you'll see around the home that there's sculptures and pieces of artwork dotted around that's why it's called casa del arte now if we go through this first entrance here we're in that grand powder room the first door here is some storage but the powder room itself has the vanity which stretches across the whole back wall and then we have three separate mirrors with that gold trim around it and either side we have two identical toilets both have a floating vanity with an Armani Casa sink. Even the water closet is made by Armani Casa. So you can tell the type of luxury we're going to see throughout this whole home. Heading back across the lobby, I want to talk a little bit about the specs of the home. So it's a five bedroom, eight bathroom home on a 26,000 square foot plot and is currently on the market for around $49 million or 180 million dirhams. Now, heading through here, continuing the tour, we've got two entrances. The first one is into the office with the office table looking onto the front of the property. Opposite that is some shelving that's actually built into the wall. And as I talked about those futuristic and sort of modern designs, you can see even the shelving is at an angle. It's not in that typical square shape. Now opposite us is the show kitchen with the island as the centerpiece. You've got the breakfast chair right in front of this oak wooden accent which hangs off the bar so you sort of bang your legs as you're having breakfast. Above is the chandelier and as you can see we've got so much storage all around. These are push to open drawers. Now this kitchen is made by Bolt Out which is a really famous brand for kitchens. Now all the appliances in here are Siemens, so you've got the wine cooler and even a dual fridge freezer which is sort of integrated into that back wall. 
in the island itself is the induction cooktop and a really cool feature. So as you press this button here, the extractor fan starts to come out of the island itself. On this back countertop, you've got these sink built in. Now, I love how huge this window is, bringing in that natural light. You're looking onto that greenery, making washing dishes a little bit less dull. You've got a microwave and a convection oven here at the back, and surrounding it, you have these tinted glass cupboards with that recessed lighting that turns on. Now, the final door in here is actually an exit onto the side of the property, but you also have some storage with a washer dryer combo down here. Now, this is not the only one we're going to see throughout the property. Now, if we head back to the lobby, we continue the tour of the rest of the home. So in essence, the home has two wings, an east wing and a west wing. There's a little bit more going on on that side. So we'll go to this side first. So we're heading into the formal lounge or the entertainment area, I'd call it. Immediately got a bit of seating. It's got this cow fur on it, which I've never seen before as well. Opposite that is this a huge dining table, which seats 16 and has that really unique chandelier above. Now I've talked about sort of the dimensions of the design of the home itself. They've even used that in the paintings. So as you can see, it has two different levels. And if we move quickly across to the other side, even the painting on this wall here, how it's on separate pieces of wall creates that sort of 3D effect. Now at the back is the lounge area with the coffee table in the center. And the highlight feature is the painting on that back wall. And from here, you can also see onto your pool as well. Heading towards the other wing, again, we go by that central winding staircase. And I want to talk a little bit about the details again. So you can see even from the walls here, they've created a panel which is elevated from the wall and has those extra dimensions that we've been talking about. Now we're right in the informal lounge and bar area. You can see that's separated by a divider here with a fireplace in between. And also you can see those sculptures and paintings dotted around. At the front of the bar, you've got the high chairs. Now what I love is how the bar has two levels, again, creating those extra dimensions. But it's not just a plain flat surface. You'll see that design as we continue the tour. Also, it's fully kitted out in here, ready for a party. There's booze all around. You've even got the glasses on the shelving at the back with the bottles. You can see there's a wine cooler right here. And another small detail, which I like, you've seen in the other tours, is how the sink is sitting atop of that countertop. Now, right in the center, we've got this island with the chandelier above that matches the chandelier in the formal dining area. I guess this is kind of where you sort of mix your drinks and stuff. Now, on the opposite side is the informal lounge, which you have the coffee table in the center with the seating surrounding it. Now, this is all looking on the TV, which is built into that back wall. Now, what's great about this informal lounge and bar is how with these accordion doors, once you open them, you can have the indoor and outdoor spaces interconnected with its own flow. But we're not going to tour the backyard just quite yet. Let's finish off this wing and end up going full circle, finishing here on the ground floor. So our next stop is the service stairs. You can see stretching from the basement all the way up to the rooftop. We go by the elevator, which stretches all the way from the basement all the way up to the rooftop. At the end of the corridor, we have two entrances. This one leads into the guest quarters. And right before you go in, there is a powder room. You've got the floating vanity with, again, an Armani Casa sink, the water closet also with the mirror lining the whole back wall, making this space feel even larger. As we go into the guest bedroom, the first door on the right is the ensuite bathroom. Now, this is worthy of being in a primary bathroom. Got a dual floating vanity with Armani Casa sink and mirrors are separated. They've used mirrors tactically throughout the whole home. You can see it lines this whole back wall and it really does make this space feel even larger. Right behind me is this awesome walk-in shower surrounded by glass. Now, even the shower equipment on the inside is made by Armani Casa with a waterfall feature and a huge rain head above. Now, I've talked about this with friends and family is that in my opinion, I think couples, they need to have a separate water closet and this bathroom has that. So either side, you've got a his and hers water closet. Now, as we come out of the ensuite, we're in the guest bedroom with the bed in the center, 
you got the bed sit at the front and the materials that they've used it feels so soft now this is all looking onto a tv built into the wall as we look this way it's got this huge window with doors either side which you can open up and you have access to the outdoor lounge and right behind me there's a little nook with an office area you can see with this mirror here how it sort of feels like there's so much more of that space as we go to the opposite side we've got a huge vanity stretching all the way across and this is built into the wall and wraps around towards the walk-in closet now at this point i want to talk a little bit about the mirrors they're used throughout the home so they do create a lot more of that space but sometimes it can be a little bit confusing like the first time i came here for a viewing with stefan the listing agent it sort of as i was coming out of here i was talking to him about something and literally i was going to go this way and scared myself like sweat through but i mean it's a cool feature it's just if you see me or the camera bump into anything that's probably what's just happened so as we come into the walk-in, the, this is a true form of a built-in closet because you don't have any shelving. It's actually built into the wall. And if you can see the details, it's sort of formed with it. On this back wall, again, you have a mirror with a chest of drawers. Now, as you open it up, you've got some shelving here. This is probably where you can put your perfume and stuff like that. Now, if we head across the hallway, you can see this is where we came from, from the informal lounge, and there's that elevator right there. So we come into the family room. Now, this is fully autonomous from the home. So you've got a dining setup here, which looks onto the pool. You can even have those accordion doors open to have that in and out experience. We've got the lounge right at the back, which is looking onto the TV built into the wall. You can see they've even have those slats in between the panels on the wall just to create a little bit of those dimensions. As we look at the back, we've got a full kitchen here. Got the island in the center with the breakfast chairs at the front. You've also got a full fridge freezer. So this is a fridge up here and a dual fridge freezer at the bottom. This is equipped with Siemens, unlike the Miele in the show kitchen, with the induction cooktop and the convection oven on here with the sink at the back. Also, so much storage dotted around. On the opposite side, again, these are accordion doors which open up. The family lounge is connected directly with the outdoor barbecue, which is all underneath this pergola. The marble dining table is attached to the marble island as well with a fully kitted out barbecue. You've got a sink, you've got two gas hobs here at the back, a wine cooler and a huge barbecue. Now this is such good quality. You can just feel by just the weight of the lid. Now usually like in barbecues that I've had, you know you try and open it dead quick because you want to keep the heat. You try and open it dead quick just to flip something over. I don't even know if I could do it that quick, <laughs> probably like bang or something. Now, as we look at the back here, you've got the outdoor lounge that we saw from the first guest bedroom. And right behind me there is a detached service quarters, but we can't actually go in there because there's somebody living there right now. Now, if we continue the tour of the backyard, the door here actually leads directly into the basement. Now you'll see where that comes out once we've done the basement tour. Our next stop is the outdoor bar. So what's this, the second bar that we've toured so far? We'll see a couple more during the tour. Now it's made from the same marble that we saw on the barbecue area and has two levels like we saw in the informal lounge. It's fully kitted out, so we've got two wine coolers here at the back with a sink and right behind me, this awesome water feature. Now, what I heard is that when the owner hosted events, what he actually did was he filled the bottom of this with ice and put all the bottles of champagne and booze in there to keep them cool. I mean. That must have looked really cool. Now, as we come to the backyard, again, you get that same feeling that we had when we entered through the automatic gate or when we came into the lobby, that feeling of grandeur, especially here. You can see how big it is and it wraps around you, kind of feels like it's gonna swallow you up. At the back of the pool is an elevated platform surrounded by water with these stepping stones. You've got a seating here, which looks onto the pool. And as we look at the back, you can see they've continued the design of the home with sort of the levels of the walls, how they're separated in those two different tones with that awesome painting here on the back. 
Now we go across these stepping stones to the other side of the pool where we have the outdoor showers, dual showers in fact, and the walkway which leads to the front of the property. You've got the steps which lead down into the sunken bar equipped with a wine cooler and right in front of it are the bar chairs built into the actual pool. Right next to it are the sun lounges on the elevated platform inside the pool as well. And from here you can see a little bit better the lines of the home, like even the balcony above me is built into that triangular shape. Now we've got seating dotted around like the lounge beds over here and the couch right at the back. And what I love is this olive tree in the corner that's 400 years old. I really love unique features like that. Now we've finished the tour of the backyard. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head down that spiral staircase and see what goodies we have inside. So I told you I was gonna talk a little bit about the stairs as we were heading down. If you just pop your head out, you can see it winding all the way from the top floor. And you can also see that chandelier with that gold trim right at the top. Now at the bottom of the staircase is a little seating area, although I'd call it a waiting area. So this movie poster or well, movie painting on the back is a little hint of what's to come next and probably some of the best movies that were ever made. Now what I love down here as well is how they've utilized the space underneath the stairs. They've decorated it with those stones and that light integrated into the wall. Now the next stop here is the cinema with the jewel doors on the entry. And as soon as you step in, you can feel the softness of that carpet. This cinema is a super cozy. At the back, we've got another bar. So what, that's the fourth bar of the tour. Got the high chairs at the back, all looking onto that screen with the Charlie Chaplin poster really fitting inside a cinema, obviously. Now, the reason why it's so cozy as well is because they've not made it like a typical cinema. You don't have those cinema chairs. You've got this sofa bed on the raised platform with those Hermes pillows as well. And in front of that are the lounge chairs. Now, usually I'm not a huge fan of leather, but the material of this is so nice. And you can actually make these fully reclined so you can lie back and watch the movie. Also, as you look up, there's that fiber optic starry night ceiling, just like we had in the Rolls Royce. Now, if we head back out of the cinema, our next stop is the cigar room, which you can actually see into through this window here. Just before the entry, we have another powder room with a floating vanity that Armani casts a sink again with a circular mirror in front of it. Now, as we come in, you've got these seating in the center and the bookshelf actually built into the wall. You can see that it's not actual shelves, it's this part of the actual build of the home. It feels like a cave down here. And be careful not to go that way, that's actually a mirror at the back. We've got a small bar with a wine cooler. And you've got all those glasses set up. Now, if we head back out of here, you can see how you're looking out through that window. That's the waiting area for the cinema. We go further down the corridor. So what you see here, we had a hint of what was to come with that Godfather poster. So now you see those pebbles. And what does that kind of remind you of? It's a spa, right? So this may look just like another panel with those dimensions that they've put around the home, but these are actually dual sliding doors which open up into your own spa. Now you've got a dry side and a wet side. So we'll do the dry side first. You've got these two lounge beds here where you can sit, kind of relax. Again, you've got wine cooler so you can have cold drinks, whatever you'd like with the bookshelf. And guys, like tell me from there, that does that not look like you have four vanity mirrors at the back? Well, actually it's just the mirror on the wall and you've only got two vanities here with another powder room just there. Again, with a floating vanity, but this time it's got shelves underneath. Now on the opposite side is the wet area. So you've got a full Swedish sauna or is it, someone commented that it's a Finnish sauna. So I'm gonna call it a Finnish sauna from now on. And if you wanna comment that it's a Swedish sauna, I don't know where to go from there. So we'll call it a Swedish, a Finnish sauna, sorry. So inside it's fully clad in wood right next to a hammam or a steam room with those mosaic tiles. And if you come around here as well, you can see you've got a ensuite shower as well with that rain head above. 
Coming out of the spa and heading further into the maze, if we go around this corner, you can see there's this bookshelf, which is really unique. I've not seen one quite like that before. We come to this room. Now this is sort of an office or a reading room. You've got the desk at the back with a table on the side. Even that mirror makes this room feel double in size. Now at the back is the double doors, which lead into the room for the pumps, for the pool and stuff like that. Now, as we come around this corner, we are at the bottom of the service stairs, right in the middle of the basement. Now, if you get your orientation straight, you can see this is where the lift is. So from here, this is the family seating up there and the first guest bedroom. Now, as soon as you come into the basement, you've got the temperature controlled wine room surrounded in glass. Now you've got a pocket door on the entry. I just wanted to go inside so you guys can just get a feel for it. This is super cozy. I've never actually been in a wine cellar like this and you can see out into all parts of the basement. Obviously, because it's surrounded in glass, you can display your favorite bottles of wine to people just looking out from the outside. Now across from that, obviously to serve your bottles of wine, you've got to have the bar. Now this is what, the fifth bar on the tour. So you've got the high chairs at the front, again in that same design, those two levels and you've got that sink sat atop of that countertop. Now, right behind me, you've got the seating, looking onto the TV with the fireplace built into that wall setup behind it. And also, if you remember, as we were touring the backyard, I told you there's a door that leads downstairs to the basement, so that is where that leads to. In the center of the basement is the gym, also surrounded in glass. Now, this is a collaboration between Techno Gym and Christian Dior, so this is of the highest quality. Like on the equipment at the back, when you just touch the leather, it feels like a top of the line sofa. You've got the table here at the back with a piece indented so you can store your towels. And if you check this out, this is a Christian, actually I was expecting something heavier, so I prepared myself, but it's actually a Christian Dior exercise ball. There's so much equipment in here. I would love to be in this gym. So once you've finished in the gym, what you gotta do, you gotta have a massage, get pampered. Now this is the therapy or the personal care part of the basement. You got some shelving here at the back, even a wine cooler and three entrances opposite us. So one is into a changing room. The other is into your very own massage room, which is connected to the hair salon. How crazy is it having one of these in a home? You've got two chairs here, obviously, where you'd get your hair cut. You've got a seat here for if you wanted to get a manicure, and at the back is the place where you wash your hair. So once your mani is finished, you can actually go full circle in the gym to get to your garage behind the gym. But I wanna take you this way because it's a little bit of a better view. Now, we're finally getting to the goodies that we have in the basement. So it's always a treat having supercars in a video or just being around any supercars, which I wanted to give a massive thank you to King's Rental Cars. They've actually filled this place up for us today. And even the Rolls Royce and the Maybach that we saw at the start was bought by them. And if you're visiting Dubai or even live here and you want to experience a car like this or any of the 120 that they have in their fleet with a no deposit option, we'll leave their contact details in the description down below. Now, the first car here is my dream car. So since I was a kid, even as I got older, I've always said I wanted to own a Lamborghini and I never wanted to rent one out. I said the day that I get in one is going to be the day when I buy it. Today it's here and I've got the chance I actually... <laughs> I sat in it earlier for the first time ever. I've never sat in a Lambo before, but I still haven't turned it on. I wanted to wait and experience it with you guys for the first time. So it was a lot lower than I expected when I was getting it in. And it's sort of the leg space. I've put it all the way back. If I was six foot five, I swear my knees would be up here. But okay, so if you come a little bit closer, you can see there's an ignition switch that you push up here. You press the start button and just listen to that sound. Oh my God. <laughs> and what the guy who brought it, so Arif the, from King's Cars, he told me that this car is really unique because once you change it from, for example, from Strada to Corsa, it's got a different sound when you put it in like Corsa mode. It's even a little bit louder. But look, listen, you put it back to Strada. It goes It's got a little bit of a different sound. Oh my God, this is crazy. I can't believe it. But yeah, I remember the first time I was there, trying to get out was a little bit of a mission as well. Not very subtle, but let's do it. Uh, there we go. I love that color as well. 
Now, on the opposite side is <laughs> still amazing, an Aston Martin and a Porsche 911 Turbo S. Now, I thought the Vantage was going to be Marco's favorite car because that's his favorite brand, but he's actually told me he prefers the 911 Turbo S. And what they told me as well is this is more expensive than the Rolls Royce upstairs. Now, we finished the tour of the downstairs. Let's head towards the lift now. We'll take it up and we'll finally tour the bedrooms. <laughs> So coming out of the elevator, we're at the end of the east wing. So I want you to get your orientation straight. We've got the family lounge downstairs, the guest bedroom, and right below you there is the informal bar and lounge. Now at the top here, you've got the exit from the service stairs. And also remember I talked about another laundry room in the home. So we actually have a wet kitchen with another washer and dryer. At the bottom of the corridor, we have two bedrooms. We'll head into this one first. Now, this is another one of those points where when I first walked in here, I actually had to double check if there was a mirror there. But this is leading into the ensuite bathroom. You've got a walk-in shower at the bottom with a glass door on the entry. Obviously, it has the Amani Casa shower features with the waterfall and the rain head above. Now the bathroom has a floating vanity which comes up to halfway. It's actually the shelf underneath which is also floating that stretches all the way down with that mirror above here extending the size of this room. What it also has is a really unique feature. So you have a window looking into the bedroom and you still have that privacy. It's not looking into the shower. Now in the bedroom itself, you can see that the painting behind me is probably the highlight feature. I love how those Colors contrast so well with the neutral tones of the room. At the back is the bed itself with the side tables either side made out of oak. And if we're looking this way, you've got so much of that natural light coming in. You even have access to a balcony. And what I love is how there's so much greenery and you even have a peek onto the Dubai skyline. Now between the bed and the wardrobe area is a divider with the TV built into it. Now this wall may seem like it's just a wall because we've seen the design of the home, how they have those panels that sort of stick out, but this is actually all lined with wardrobes. And if you open them up, that recessed lighting comes on. And even above it here is pushed open. You have extra storage space up there. Now across the hall is the next bedroom, which probably has one of the most unique beds I've seen throughout one of my tours. It's actually elevated on a platform and even the side table is built into the structure of that. You got that hanging light coming down from the side. This bed truly feels like it's fit for a king. Right beside it, you've got a small office setup. And from here, what I love is how you can see onto all that greenery really brightens up this room. And in the back corner, we've got a small lounge bed which looks onto the TV, which is built into that TV setup. Also, we've got a seating inside and a seating outside, so you have access to a terrace. And as you're looking this way, again, it is Casa del Arte, so those colors really go amazing with the design of the home. In the bottom corner, we have the walk-in closet on one side with everything fully built in like we've seen in some of the other bedrooms. And the ensuite bathroom is similar to the bedroom we just toured with the vanity coming up to halfway and the shelf beneath it stretching along the whole wall. But this time we've got some drawers in between. Now this may look like two toilets, but it's not. I actually got confused when I first saw it. This one here is actually a bidet. I've never seen one with a lid like that. At the back is the full walk in the shower again by Monica Acid with the waterfall feature and that huge rain head above. Now let's head further down the hallway. We'll continue on to the junior suite. Now I wouldn't even call this a hallway. This is a walkway because you get views along the way. You're looking down onto your pool, that blue contrasting with that industrial stone tiles that we have throughout and you've got artwork either side, so on the interior and at the end of the pool. Now, right here is the entrance to the junior suite, which is probably my favorite bedroom of the lot, even though the primary is amazing as well. We have dual doors on the entry, and as soon as you come in, you're looking into the office through the glass. But as you look down there, you can see the length of this junior suite, and that's probably one of why it's one of my favorites, because it has that size to it. 
Now, as soon as you come in, you've got the bookshelf integrated into the actual wall. And what I love here is the copper detail that they've used on the office desk setup with the mirror above. Now, opposite us is the bed with the side tables either side and the bed frame has been built into the futuristic design of the home where the walls have that 3D effect. At the bottom is the junior lounge area. You've got a lounge bed, which is super comfy. Coffee table in the center with some coconut cloud seating, all looking onto that huge TV built into the wall. Heading back the other way towards the ensuite and the walk-ins, we're gonna go through the office. Now we've got a wine cooler here on the exterior. Now, the owner has been using this as a personal office, so I won't go too much into detail, but it has that desk setup. I love the materials that have been used. And obviously you can't miss a bit of art in Casa del Arte. Now, at the back here is the walk-in closet. Now, it stretches all the way down, and with that mirror, it actually feels super long. You've got so much storage, and even right behind you, there's a door which leads into some extra storage. You could put your handbags there and stuff. Now, this is the ensuite bathroom. You actually have two separate floating vanities, and you're actually surrounded by mirrors. So, if I'm being honest, this tour has been a little bit challenging with all these mirrors, trying not to get the camera in, but I think it's been all right so far. Right behind me is a, I call it a true walk-in because you've got no steps. You actually just walk around behind this glass. You're in here, you've got that huge rain head above and the waterfall feature. At the back here is the water closet. That looks so rustic. Behind that pane of glass, it feels like it's own little cave. Now that we've finished the junior suite, we're gonna head back by the spiral staircase towards the primary bedroom. Now from up here, we actually see the grandeur of these stairs and how they wind down. I love this view, although it can get a little bit confusing and make you dizzy. You can see a bit more up close the chandelier or the, the light, which is at the top of the stairs that I talked about as we we're heading down towards the basement. And we also get an epic view of the lobby area. You can just feel how grand it is from up here. At the top of the stairs, we have a small seating area. And to the primary bedroom itself, you actually have two entries. So you can go straight into the bedroom, or like us, we can go into the primary lounge. We've actually got a table on the entry in that 3D design where it looks like it's been built out of blocks. On the back wall here, there's a shelf which is cantilevered, kind of like the terraces or the exterior, how it's been designed. It's been colored in that green to match the view onto the golf course. You can see onto the lake. I mean, this is such a vibe here. You've got a terrace to one side and the lounge seating and coffee table all looking at the TV built on this oak feature wall. Now, I love how it contrasts against all those neutral and white tones of the wall. Heading towards the bedroom side, there's a really cool feature which I haven't seen before I wanna show you guys. So this looks like it's just a panel that's integrated into the wall flush. But what you can do is you can actually close this primary lounge area off just like that. It's actually a swivel door, which is really cool. We've never seen that before. Now our next door here is actually the ensuite bathroom, which actually has a his and her side. I can't tell which is which, so we're gonna call this bathroom gender neutral for now. So you've got the floating vanity here with the sink on top, you've got that mirror here extending that space. I love how they've used that sort of greenery to sort of pop against those neutral colors right in front of this bathtub. Now we've seen one of these bathtubs in a previous tour. It's again an Armani Casa bathtub, but it also has those jets and I love how they've put this amazing piece of artwork right above it. At the back here is the walk-in shower. You've always got that huge rain head and a water closet. But if we head to the opposite side, the first thing that we see is the walk-in shower. Again, fully kitted out. You've got the floating vanity here at the back with the sink. Just you can see how this mirror extends that space so much with the extra water closet. So you have, again, two water closets. I love this bathroom. Now between the lounge and the bedroom is actually a bar area. Now this is the final bar that we're touring throughout the home. This is what, the fifth, the sixth one? I've lost count. But you're equipped with a wine cooler, you've got storage and that mirror which extends the space 
Opposite you is the bookshelf built into the wall and right behind you is the direct entrance into the primary bedroom through those double doors. At the back of the room, there's a little lounge bed next to the exit onto that triangular balcony that I told you about while we're touring the backyard. Also brings in so much of that natural light. Now the bed actually probably is the highlight feature of this room. I love the design and the color, that brown, that contrasts so well with those neutral tones and even the materials, you can feel that it's such good quality, that leather material. Either side, you've got bed tables, but this one's super unique. It's half made of stone, half wood. And on the opposite side, you've got a chandelier hanging down. Now, either side of the bed, there is an entry into the walk-in closet. And you actually have a his and her side. We're gonna talk the her side first. So you've got the vanity table here with that chair underneath, that huge mirror as well. Now, as you come round here, you've got an island in the center with that glass panel on top where you can display your watches, your bags, your belts, anything you'd want. There's so much storage wrapped around, again, in those kind of different levels. You see, you open these up, that recessed lighting turns on. And on the shelving at the back, you can see how the lighting has been integrated into the shelves themselves. As we come through to the his side along the way, there's even more storage. But as you're opening this up, come a little bit closer. That was my bad. These are actually shoe shelves which is awesome, I love that. Opposite that is the safe, but obviously we can't go in there. The his side is a little bit smaller, but I think that's enough storage for us guys, right? You've got these storage wrapped around and these shelves here at the back, they're built in different levels, so it creates a bit more of those dimensions. The drawers here open up, you can store your watches in there. And right here is the, did you actually think this was somewhere to go? <laughs> when Marco first came, I thought it was. When Marco first came, I was showing him around. And like, I told him, oh yeah, if you go behind there, there's an even extra space. He actually started to go before he realized it was a mirror. Now, our final feature in the primary bedroom is the office. I love the sleek design of it, how it has those different angles, like the design of the home, and even cool features like this. So if you open this up, this is where all your plugs go in so you don't have cables straying everywhere. Now it's wrapped in leather and even the light behind it, which hangs over it in this unique design is also wrapped in leather. Now the best bit about this is the view. I mean, not looking that way, obviously, it's still not a bad view, but the view onto the back here, how you're looking onto the golf course, the lake. I mean, this is such a vibe. Now guys, we have finished officially the tour. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed touring it for you. If you did, please give us a quick like and subscribe. We would really appreciate it. Now, I'll see you guys in the next tour. Thank you.